we are taking a look at a problem where you have to find the surface area. This is a net. Um, just looking at it, I know it is not a pyramid because there are no triangles. So this has to be a prism. Um, step one, I'm going to name my shape. So I see squares. And I see an octagon. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm setting up my paper so that I can clearly show my work. I'm even going to draw a line so I have two separate columns. Um, the squares, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to write eight. For the octagon, I see that I have two. Step two, I need to find the area of the base. Looking at this shape, I can visualize that the octagon is the base. To find the area of an octagon, I know that I can find the area of the triangles that make it up. So an octagon has eight triangles. So I'm just going to start with one triangle and figure out what the area is. The formula for that is base times height divided by two. The base of this triangle is 20 feet. I know that because each side is the same length. So the base is 20 times the height. They gave me the height right here, which is 24 divided by 2. Now I'm going to multiply these numbers and divide by 2. So I can do a little helper problem. And when I do that, um, I want to do it off to the side. So maybe over here. 20 times 24. So that gives me 480. Don't forget to divide by 2. So I can do a little helper problem. If I do that, I know that I get... Two hundred forty. Two hundred forty is just the area of one triangle. There are eight that make up one octagon. So now I'm going to take two hundred forty times eight. I get 1,920. That is the area of one octagon. There are two octagons. So I have to take this number and I now multiply it by two. And I get 3,840. Label my answer, square B. That is how much the surface area is for both of my octagons. Now I'm going to figure out the surface area for my eight squares. I know the formula, find the area of one square is just length times width. Now I know from my diagram that the length of one side is 20 feet. But the square, all sides are the same length. So I'm going to do 20 times 20. Mental math, I know it gives me 400. 
there are eight squares, so I need to take 400 times 8, because each of these is now 400 square feet. Mental math. I know that gives me 3,200 square feet. My last step is step four to add the area of the bases to the area of the faces. So, somewhere on my paper, I want to show that painting. So, 3,840 plus. 3,200. Add those up. I get 7,040 square feet. Circle your answer. And that is how you find the surface area for an octagonal prism.